Are you ready for the taste tests? Uh, near the end of this video, I talk about you, the viewer, possibly helping me out with a $1 donation, but I'll explain all of the details at the end of this video. Thank you. Oh my god, that cost me over $15. As I uh, mentioned in the trailer for, for this video, I got cotton candy, which I think I will enjoy if it tastes like cotton candy. Veggie sticks, which I think are going to be okay. I've heard they're good from somebody. And of course, we'll have to do this again. Four feet of fun laces. Grape flavored candy. Four feet of fun. As opposed to four inches of fun. <laughs> okay. And this is the one I'm not looking forward to. Habanero pepper cauldron cooked potato chips uh, Blair's Deaf Rain and I heard from somebody that these were hot. I'm not a fan of hot or spicy foods so I am not looking forward to this but I've got some water handy. Somebody suggested sour cream but I'll be man enough and just have water here. So here we go. Oh, and I also got uh, Warhead's Sour Dippers, in which uh, the lollipop thing is sweet and you dip it in the sour powder. Let's try the veggie sticks first. Very crunchy. They have, a, they have a good taste to them. Not really like uh, potato chips, not, not even really like vegetables or vegetables. But they're, they're, it's a really nice, good taste to them. Hmm. I guess kind of a potato. Potato-y taste to them, but man, these are good. Hmm. Some people might uh, might not care for them because there's no no salt salty taste like there would be with potato chips. But I don't my I don't miss the salt at all. I hope the habanero pepper potato chips are just as good. I would give these a 10 out of 10. If you ever see these, buy them. Now, we're going to do four feet of fun. I love the taste of grape. I don't think I'll eat all four feet. Oh, I thought it would be one long. I'm disappointed. That's not four feet. Four feet of fun? Is that four feet? They're exaggerating. Maybe that is four feet. I guess maybe it is four feet. I was thinking it'd be one huge, long, 40 foot. Maybe that's what I was thinking, 40 foot. You could hurt somebody with this. I hurt you, I hurt you. <clears throat> there we go.
I just read the ingredients. I was thinking they, they tasted kind of uh, like a fake blueberry because there is no kind of real blueberry in this at all. That's all. It was good at first and then it kind of tastes chemically, if that's a word. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't really recommend it. So they were okay, but they're not bad. I'd give these a, uh, a, a 4 out of 10. Uh, a couple of years ago, with uh, my friend Ken Dom from the very popular food review channel, KBD Productions, we did uh, the Toxic Waste Challenge, really sour candies, and I guess I've never had warheads. Let's see how these are. A sip of vodka, I mean uh, water first. Ooh, that taste, I mean that's taste. That smells kind of gross and sour. I hope I don't look ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> Now I gotta dip it in the sour crap. There you go, got quite a bit on it. Don't wanna cheat. Sweet berry lollipop and sour blue raz powder, whatever the hell raz is. actually not bad. It's sour, but... I'm Frank T.J. Mack. A master of Ooh, really sour. This is very tasty. And the powder is sour, but I mean it's nothing unbearable. Hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> You know, I'm going out this evening. I'm going to the Empire Theater in Belleville. They're going to be announcing the uh, the bands that are going to be playing this summer. They have some great bands. Uh, they've had Journey. They've had Slash. They've had Alice Cooper. And hopefully, I won't go to the theater like this for the announcement. Oh my God. Oh, seriously. Oh. <laughs> I did not know that was going to happen. Oh. Anyway, for, for a candy for, for a kid to have some fun with, this was pretty good, except for, for that. I'll let you know. Um, I'm going to drink some water. Anyway, if you want your kid to have a blue tongue and have some fun, this is good. I would give this a 7 out of 10. And the sour isn't unbearable, as far as I'm concerned. You know what? I should have done the cotton candy first. Maybe the whiteness or the pinkness of the cotton candy will colorize my tongue more. I'll open it where it says open. I'm going to burp. I'm just warning you. Uh, 
open should come with instructions. There it is. It's soft. Oh my god. I love cotton candy. Let me see if it's exactly like cotton candy should be. This container may hold one or more of the following flavors. Blue, raspberry, green, apple, grape, banana, bubblegum. See, and there's blue. Must be the grape under it. Gee, I hope this doesn't dye my tongue. My cat Jinx has been staring at me for the last five minutes. Doesn't she look so happy and contented? Hmm? There you go. Hey, you got some cotton candy on your fur. <laughs> oh, very sticky. It's still melting in my mouth. That's what she said. Uh, that was a pretty good Im imitation of cotton candy. Not as good as cotton candy, but basically the same same idea. Didn't taste quite as good as as real. Excuse me for a minute. As real cotton candy, but uh, I would give this for a kid, you know, for a kid who wanted to have some fun again, I would give this like a, it's not bad, a 7 out of 10. Maybe these chips will burn the blue dye off of my tongue. I'm not looking forward to this. Here we go. burning. My lips are burning. Ugh. How does anybody enjoy hot spicy foods that burn so? Oh my tongue, my tongue, my tongue. It's all about my tongue today. My tongue is burning. I'm not enjoying this. It's burning. I don't know if water is going to help or not. Maybe I should be drinking milk or some rum. I'll, I tell you, cat food is worse. But Ugh. oh, please make it go away. You know what, they, until the, the hotness kicks in, these taste pretty damn good, but I'm throwing the rest in the garbage. Oh. Gonna oh. burp. Oh. That was a hot pepper. My lips are burning and my tongue is really burning. It's... I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna brush my tongue for a few minutes and then come back at the end of this video and see if hopefully most of it's gone. Uh, for me, I would give these a, a 3 out of 10, but if you like really hot stuff, 
then I think you would probably enjoy these and you'd probably give them something like an eight because they are tasty until the goddamn hotness sets in. Oh, I hate those. Oh, I'll be back. better. So hopefully by the time I go out this evening I don't have a blue tongue. So that's it everybody. Thank you for watching. And uh, as I mentioned in my previous teaser video, now this these items cost me over $15. I'm not going to obviously eat any of them except the veggie sticks so if you would like me to do more of these taste test videos from the bulk barn or, or wherever I would ask if you could possibly help me out and that is by donating one dollar to my PayPal account and let me know what your name is or your YouTube channel is and I will thank you in the video one of the videos so uh, yeah because this cost me $15 and basically out of all that I'm eating this bag of chips so if you enjoy these videos you don't have to so hopefully I don't get any hate comments because as I've said before some of my friends have done Kickstarter campaigns or asking for donations or whatever and the way I look at it you don't have to donate. Uh, you know, it's up to you if you want to help out. But it does get expensive, and I won't be able to, to do it very often if I don't get a little bit of help on the way. So, uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, <clears throat> thank you for uh, watching, and I hope you got a laugh or two, because I sure didn't. <laughs> Goodbye.